Hiya, it's me, Dav. I expect you knew that though. My name probably flashed up. Unless I'm still saved as bloke from work. I hope not. You said you were gonna change it. I'm sorry I missed your call earlier. I was out. Well, not out as in out, out, as in in, out. But you know, I wasn't out shopping or at a disco or anything like that. I was outside in the garden, cleaning up dog sick. And now you're out. Well, <laughs> hey, I did what you said. I found a new hobby. I had a go at baking. I made a Victoria sponge. Well, something resembling a Victoria sponge. Well, not really resembling as such, but it was a good first effort from a man who burns Alpen. Did you know that there are two types of flour? Incredible. Plain and self-raising. Amazing. I didn't see. I used plain. Turns out I should have used self-raising. Look more like a frisbee than a sponge. Didn't taste very nice, but it flew well. Flew right across the garden, like a frisbee. And the dog thought it was a frisbee. Bloody ate most of it before I could get hold of him. He didn't like it either. He was sick in the pond. That's where I was when you ran, fishing it out before the fish got at it. <laughs> before dad saw. I don't think dog sick would be very good for his koi carp. <laughs> nightmare. I had a nightmare last night. Yeah, awful it was. I was naked in Greg's and all the staff were screaming at me and I just kept shouting, I only want a custard slice. When I woke up, I remembered all of this, you know, the way things are now. Wish I'd stayed in a nightmare. Anyway, I got up, went for a walk down by the river. I know I used my allotted hour early, but it was worth it. There was a full moon and it was beautiful, like daylight, no one else around. It's funny what you can hear, you know, when it's all quiet. I could hear the birds nesting in the trees. I could hear the gentle lap of the river I could hear two foxes going at it, hammer and tongs up in the woods. It reminded me of you. The birds and the river, I mean, not the shagging foxes. Christ. I sent you some films yesterday, like you asked, some surprises from my collection. I hope you like them. I went left field, like you said. Anyway, I've probably talked long enough. Um, I'll try and ring you again later. Or maybe I'll send you a letter. People write letters nowadays, don't they? Don't think I've written a letter since I was at school. I wrote to Gareth Edwards, my childhood hero. He wrote back, sent me a signed photo. He's a lovely man, Gareth Edwards. That's why the dog is called Gareth Edwards. Um, hope your mom's okay. Hope her leg is on the mend. Um, speak soon. Ta-da. <laughs>